Why did the Ewoks immediately worship C-3PO in Return of the Jedi? Was it just because he was gold and shiny? Well, yeah, kinda. The Ewoks worshipped a god they called the Golden One, who was responsible for bringing light and therefore life to their moon. This was first established in the Return of the Jedi novelization, as well as canon sources like Tales from Vader's Castle and the Myths and Fables book. Return of the Jedi, from a certain point of view, tells us a story about Logre, the Ewok shaman who struggled to maintain the faith of his people. After the Empire arrived and began wreaking havoc on their home, the Ewoks feared the Golden One had abandoned them. As Logre walked through the woods seeking a sign from his god, he came across the rebel scouting party that included C-3PO. He thought that was the sign he was looking for, until the figure tripped, fell, and whined without a shred of dignity. Twice. Logre knew the droid was a false god, but he still made sure his fellow Ewoks came across C-3PO knowing their faith would be restored. While the book doesn't confirm this, I assume Logre was the one to suggest a chair be crafted for their deity to honor him, but also so the illusion wouldn't be shattered by 3PO's clumsiness. They could simply carry him to their village instead of making him walk and potentially trip the whole way. Speaking of Ewoks, this story also reminded me of the musical Wicket, which was created by our friend Travis at the Atlanta-based theater Dad's Garage. His show is played across the country and is opening in Atlanta again on September 15th. If any of our viewers are local, I highly recommend it. It's full of deep cut references, it's hilarious, and it's also just a genuinely good musical about Ewoks in the style of the Broadway musical Wicked. Dad's Garage gave us a code for anyone in the Atlanta area that wants to go. Use the code EXPLAINED at checkout to get two tickets for the price of one. But that's it for today. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on our socials, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.